Norma McCauley is a single mum who lives in Glasgow with her two young sons. Well, I've got two boys, two lovely boys, not even if I say so myself. I've got Martin, who's six, and I've got Cameron, who's five. Since Cameron first started to talk, he has described life as a child on Barra, a remote island in Scotland's Outer Hebrides. White house with my mum and dad uh, and my three brothers and sisters. From the age of two, Cameron has been telling his family the same story. As he's grown older, the story hasn't changed. It's just become more detailed. Norma could not understand how Cameron knew about Barra, let alone have such clear memories of life on the island. At first I just thought, like he's making things up. And then I was thinking, how does he know the name Barra? Why, why is it Barra where none of us have been or have any connection with? Barra lies off the western coast of Scotland, 220 miles from Glasgow. It can only be reached by a lengthy sea journey or an hour-long flight. It's a tiny, distant outpost of the British Isles and is home to just over a thousand people. My favourite place in Barra was the beach and I took my dog with me and I play with him and my brothers and sisters to play. He used to say, I'm a Barra boy, I'm a Barra boy. <laughs> the planes was to land on the beach. He said there's like a small beach. He says in like small planes land and they land on the beach. It better is a loads of place to run around, but here is not a lot because the houses are near each other. I did one time say one of these days we will go up and see Barra. And, you, and then it's like, well, I'll show you. I'll show you where my house is and I'll show you around. Well, we see your bad or bad. No, why not? Because he's dead. He's dead? He says, my, my real bad or dad didn't look left and right. My bad or dad got knocked down. Cameron even claims to know his bad or dad's name. Shane Robertson. Shane Robertson. Yes. Do you know Shane Robertson again? The bother, Dad. The bother, Dad. Was that fast? Was that the one that got knocked down? Cameron's uncle, Ian Watson, initially dismissed his nephew's stories as fantasy. But as time passed, they became harder to explain away. It's just the fact that he's just consistent in, you know, the, the things that he's saying and the story that he keeps coming up with. And over the three years, he's never wavered from it. <laughs> if you look at his face when he's telling you these things, he believes they're true. My bad mum had long hair and she got cut short. They'll say, I was with my bad mum before you had me, before I came to this family. And he just keeps saying to me, you'll really like her, you'll really like her, she's really nice. One time I said to him, joking, do you love me or your bad mum? And he says, I love you both the same. I thought he would have said me, but he never. <laughs> Cameron's growing emotional attachment to his bad mum concerned Norma. He began to miss her so badly that he started to suffer genuine distress. One day when he was at the nursery, he got quite upset. He was saying rather than me picking him up that day, he wanted his bad mum to come and get him. When the big tears were running down his face and he just kept saying, I have to go to Barra, I have to go to Barra, my family are missing me. How, how do you deal with that? What do you do? What do you say to him? I personally think there's more to it than meets the eye, but there is some people and everybody's allowed to make their own judgement, but I definitely think it's one of those things, there's something there. I can't tell you what it, what, what exactly it is, but 
I think it's something we'll probably never know.